It's easy to make your own litmus paper using red cabbage. Now all you have to do is get a head of red cabbage from the grocery store or your garden, chop it up into small pieces, and boil it in some water, in a couple of cups of water. And of course, ask an adult to help you do this if you're a kid. Um, once you do this, you strain out the cabbage, and you will end up with this purple cabbage juice. Now this cabbage juice contains a pigment. And the pigment in red cabbage is really interesting because it changes color depending on whether it's exposed to an acid or a base. And this has to do with, I believe, the molecule changing shape and reflecting light differently. But to make your own litmus paper, all you need to do is take some coffee filters or paper towels and soak them in the cabbage juice. After they've soaked for a while, take them out, let them dry, and cut them into strips like this. And this is your litmus paper. Once you have your litmus paper, it's easy to go around the house testing different things to see whether they're an acid or a base. Now, this pigment, if exposed to an acid, will turn pink, while if you expose it to a base, it will turn blue. So we start with our purple paper, and let's see what happens when we dip it in some vinegar. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, but it turns bright pink. Now, if we were to dip it in some baking soda mixed with water, let's see what happens. It turns blue. That must be a base. So you can also test things like orange juice and dish soap dissolved in water, but as I said, the paper will turn pink or blue depending on whether you expose it to an acid or a base. So try it. See what you find.